In step four of exercise number eight, the following actions have to be implemented to define a new iMachining 3D operation to perform the rest machining of the mold core. A smaller end mill of 6.25 millimeters is used to remove the rest material left after the previous operation. The current operation is applied to further prepare the cam part for finishing operations. Add a new iMachining 3D operation. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click the operations header and choose 3D iMachining from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed. On the Geometry page, click the Define button in the Working Area section to display the Working Area dialog box. As shown in the previous operation, iMachining 3D works in the mode of Cut Only the Rest Material by Default. You can use the Show 3D and Show Model buttons to view the current state of the updated stock model. If you click the Show 3D button, the Solid Verify simulation window appears. Here you can see the rest material is calculated by iMachining 3D comparing the updated stock model from the previous operation to the defined target model geometry for the current operation. Clicking the Hide Rest Material button will clear the rest material shown in red and display the updated stock model as a single color. By clicking the Hide Machined Stock button, only the 3D model geometry of the target model is shown. It is important to note that viewing the target model in this window also shows the faceting quality of the mathematical representation based on the facet tolerance specified in the CAM part definition. Click the exit button to close the Solid Verify simulation window. If you click the Show Model button, the updated stock model is displayed in the SolidWorks window. Click Cancel to close the Show Geometry dialog box, and then click the Cancel button in the Working Area dialog box to close it. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the Part Tool table. Currently, there is only one tool available for use to machine this CAM part. For this operation, define a smaller tool for rest machining the tighter areas of the mold core to prepare it for further finishing operations. Click the Add Milling Tool button and select End Mill from the Milling Tools list. Under the Topology tab, set the diameter value to 6.25 mm. Keep the default remaining tool parameters, which provide a cutting length of 24 mm. Change the number of flutes to 4. Click the Select button to choose the tool for the operation and exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page to define the milling levels. Click the Upper Level button to define the Z level at which the tool will start the machining. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the top vertex of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Click the lower level button to define the lowest Z level at which the machining will come to an end. In the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on the lower face of the target model as shown. Click OK to confirm the selection. Next, switch to the Technology Wizard page. The default cutting conditions are used with a machining level aggressiveness of 6. Switch to the Technology page. For this operation, set the scallop value equal to that of the previous operation. Enable the override checkbox to open the field for editing and enter the value of 1.24 millimeters. Leave the default option of 30% for the scallop tolerance and select All Steps Down, then Rest Rough for the order of the toolpath passes. Over in the offsets area, Enter a value of 0.24 mm for both. These were the same machining allowances used in the previous operation. At this point, the operation can be calculated and the iMachining 3D toolpath can be viewed on the model. First, name the operation i3d rest underscore target. Then, Click the Save and Calculate button to add the operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. After the calculation is completed, click the Simulate button to display the simulation control panel. 
After the updated stock calculation is completed for the operation, click the play button using the Solid Verify simulation mode. The smaller tool approaches and removes the rest material left after the previous operation. After just two iMachining 3D operations, the cam part is fully prepared for finishing. Using the exit buttons, close the simulation control panel and the iMachining operation dialog box. At this stage, step four is complete. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the rest machining of the mold core. In the next few steps, you have to define the finish machining of the mold core surfaces by utilizing a practical range of both 3D and 2.5D strategies. Depending on your level of experience and the principles that you prefer to follow, you may choose to use different strategies in your everyday applications other than those shown in the upcoming videos.